The conventional phrases, desire of the flesh, sins of the flesh, lusts of the flesh, are totally at variance with the real phenomena of erotic temptation. In real temptation the flesh does not enter at all. There is the generative nerve where, like a twisted serpent, the scales of the embryo lust dragon simmer and ferment. And there is the brain nerve towards which that quivering forked tongue sends out its cry of confederacy. The repercussions of both these things are mental, spiritual, ethereal, astral, immaterial, psychic and as utterly removed from the flesh as they are from matter. It is a thing of nerves, this brutish sting, this erotic obsession, of nerves and of the psyche, the soul, the self. The flesh is pathetically, beautifully, grotesquely innocent. It is in the nerves that all lecheries, all lusts, all passions lie, in the nerves and the imagination. It is the erotic nerve, the tightly coiled snake with the flickering tongue always waiting to leap, that creates that undersea of fluctuating images, wherein matter and flesh have been reduced to tenuous and filmy wraiths, but from which the nerve perilous can feed with its vibrant tantalizations the excited soul. All good springs from the nerves and from the mind. All evil springs from the nerves and from the mind. Innocent, neutral, harmless, beautiful, neither good nor evil is the mortal flesh of men and of beasts and of the grasses of the field.